Hi everybody, today I'm going to replace my old router because after a few years, it's pretty dated. I'm currently using the Asus RT N66U, which will be replaced by the new Google Nest Wi-Fi router. A promising router that can also be expanded to a mesh network. Let's hope this router from Google performs better. But first I want to thank Siddiqui Offers for sponsoring this video. Are you tired of this Windows watermark as well and want to get rid of it? Siddiqui Offers has a wide selection of game and software codes and helps you with this. Add a Windows 10 Pro key to the shopping cart and add this discount. Confirm your purchase and choose your payment method. I usually use PayPal. Complete the payment, go to purchased order, refresh the page and go to view codes. Get your key, go to activation and enter your Windows key and say goodbye to that watermark. Let's start with the unboxing of the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. I chose this router because there are many positive reviews saying it's easy to use, which I'm curious to find out about. So this is the Google Nest Wi-Fi router and all the accessories are underneath. Of course there is a manual included. The charger also looks compact and I think we even get another cable with it. Yes, there is also an Ethernet cable with it, even though I already have too many of them. But that's all that comes in the box. So in the package we find of course the Google Nest Wi-Fi router, an Ethernet cable, a charger and the user manual. Now this is only the Nest router, but there are multiple packages available because this router can be extended to a mesh network. There is also a pack with a Nest router and a Nest Wi-Fi point a Nest Wi-Fi router with two Nest Wi-Fi points and you can also buy the Wi-Fi points separately in different colors. These are available in the colors white, blue and pink. It depends on the size of your home or office which configuration is the best for you. It is also possible to set up a network with only the Nest Wi-Fi routers. A Nest Wi-Fi point also has a built-in speaker with Google Assistant. A Wi-Fi point or access point is actually an Ethernet access point and is then converted into a Wi-Fi signal. In the case of the Google Nest Wi-Fi point, the internet does not enter with a UTP cable, but is put in a mesh network in combination with the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. A mesh network is a local network in which several different network devices connect to each other and work together to share the load on the wireless network. These wireless transmitters therefore provide optimal coverage. What is not entirely unimportant are the connections of the Nest router, these are rather limited because aside from the connection that connects straight to the internet, you only have one Ethernet connection. This means that you are stuck with a network switch to use this router to connect all your wired devices to the Ethernet connection. Here are some general specifications of the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. Before we start with the setup, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. As I said before, I now use the RT N66U from Asus and these are my current Wi-Fi speeds. As you can see the download speed is quite low and the Wi-Fi network is not loaded by other devices and tasks. I have 100 download and 100 upload speed and there will always be some loss with Wi-Fi, but the speeds are very low. The upload speed is not that low, but it could be better. Now let's set up the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. To set it up you will need the Google Home app. Once you have installed and opened it, click on the plus button in the top left corner and choose set up device. This is a new device, so we choose the top option. The Nest router will now be searched and it will be listed directly as Nest Wi-Fi router. Select this device and click on next. And here you need to scan the QR code, that's a code like this, at the bottom of the Nest router. As soon as you have done that, the connection to the router will be made, but you can also get this screen instead of a successful connection. I advise you to first follow the steps on the screen and if this doesn't work, you can try to connect the router to Bluetooth and then enter the password that can be found underneath the router. The connection can also be made this way. After the successful connection you indicate what the device is for. In my case, that's the office. After that you can give a random Wi-Fi name to your Wi-Fi network. A nice option is that you can use emojis in the Wi-Fi name. As soon as you have chosen a Wi-Fi name and a Wi-Fi password, the Wi-Fi network will be set up. 
This takes a few minutes, so don't worry if it takes a bit longer. After setting up the Wi-Fi network, Google asks if you want to add another device. I don't have another device at the moment, so I'm choosing not now. Next, the updates for the Nest Wi-Fi router begin downloading. The nice thing about this router is that it will all be updated automatically in the future so you don't have to update manually. This may take a bit longer the first time. Now that the Nest Wi-Fi router is set up, we can go through the settings. As soon as we click on the Nest Wi-Fi router, we see how many Wi-Fi points are connected. From the Google Home app, we can also do a speed test. We will start this now. It may be that the speed test takes a bit longer than you are used to, so I'm fast forwarding it. As you can see, there are already much better results in the Google Home app compared to the old router, especially the download speed, which has improved tremendously. Soon we will also do a speed test with the app I used at the beginning of the video. To see all settings and information of the Google Nest Wi-Fi router, we click on Wi-Fi. Here we see the speed test we just did and also multiple other settings. We can also set up a guest network for Wi-Fi so guests can use a separate Wi-Fi network. As a Wi-Fi name, I'm choosing two strawberry emojis. Another option is the family Wi-Fi. Among other things, you can set up a Wi-Fi break here. This allows you to create a group under which you can also add devices. Then you can also set a restrict access setting for this group. To set the pass, we create a schedule called night, which you can add to a group. Here you can set the Wi-Fi to be turned off at night for these devices. Of course you can change the group afterwards by adding devices to the group or removing them from the group. Another useful option is that you can quickly see from the Google Home app which devices are connected to the primary network or to the guest network and how much the device is requesting from the network at that moment. To make changes to the primary network, we go to the settings in the upper right corner. Multiple settings such as the Wi-Fi name and password can be changed here. But also extra settings for gaming and WPA3 can be found here. Now that everything is set and all settings have been discussed, we are going to use the same speed test to measure the speeds of the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. I'm fast forwarding this speed test because otherwise it will take some time. As we can see the download speed is about 60 megabits and the upload speed is slightly improved. These results are quite similar to the results of the Google speed test, but I thought it was fair to do the same speed test. I'm very happy with the improvement, but what is my final opinion about the Google Nest Wi-Fi router after using it for a week? I truly believe that the Google Nest Wi-Fi router and the Nest Wi-Fi Point offer a perfect solution for most consumers. It is very easy to use and the coverage is excellent. I also like the design and with the Wi-Fi points you even have a choice in color. So it also looks good in the living room or in the office. For those people who are afraid that Google will analyze your internet usage and adapt personal advertisements to it, that doesn't happen according to Google. Because you pay for this product, they don't use data to optimize some personalized ads and they don't resell the data to other parties. So according to Google, you don't have to be afraid of that. The drawback I can mention is that this device is not too advanced. So you can set up or manage certain things if you are an advanced user. For most users this router is simply enough. Besides that, you have to take into account that you quickly depend on a network switch because it only has one connection. But for $20 to $30 you already have a network switch. All in all, I am very satisfied and this Google Nest Wi-Fi router will stay for the upcoming years. I hope you liked this video and let me know what you think of the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. Thank you very much for watching and if this video was useful, leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Have a nice day and I see you all in the next video.